Here's another example of a stoichiometry problem. Here's the problem. Given the balanced equation, 4NH3 gas plus 6NO gas gives 5N2 gas plus 6H2O liquid, how many molecules of N2 can be produced by reacting 0 0.0116 grams of NH3 with an excess of NO? We start by finding out what we're given and what we're asked for. We're given the mass or the grams of NH3. And since there's an excess of NO, we don't concern ourselves with the NO. We know that there's more than enough to react with all the NH3 we have. We're asked for the number of molecules of N2. Now we can create a plan. We're given the grams of NH3, so we start with that. Because we're asked for another substance, we must change grams of NH3 into moles of NH3. So that's what we do in step one. In step two, we convert moles of NH3 to moles of the substance we're asked for, N2. And in step three, we convert moles of N2 to molecules of N2, which is what we're asked for. Now we have a complete plan for this problem. We carry out this plan using conversion factors. First, we write down 0 0.0116 grams of NH3. In step one, we convert grams of NH3 into moles of NH3. So we have a conversion factor with grams of NH3 on the bottom so it can be cancelled and moles of NH3 on the top. We write a 1 by the mole and the molar mass of NH3, 17.04 grams here. In step 2 we convert moles of NH3 to moles of N2. This is the mole bridge. So we have a conversion factor. We put moles of NH3 on the bottom so it will cancel and we want moles of N2 so we put that on the top. In a mole-to-mole -mole conversion, we use the coefficients in the balanced equation. So we write a 5 in front of the N2 and a 4 in front of the NH3. In step 3, we convert moles of N2 into molecules of N2, which is what we're asked for. So again, a conversion factor with moles of N2 on the bottom and molecules of N2 on the top. We write a 1 by the mole and Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd by the molecules. We cancel out the grams of NH3, the moles of NH3, and the moles of N2. And we're left with molecules of N2, which is the unit we want. So we write that here as the unit for our answer. We go 0 0.0116 divided by 17.04 times 5 divided by 4 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And the answer to three significant figures is 5.12 times 10 to the 20th molecules of N2. At this point, pause the video and do the calculation yourself and see if you get the same answer. We can now state the final answer as reacting 0 0.0116 grams of NH3 with an excess of NO will produce 5.12 times 10 to the 20th molecules of N2.